Welcome back to the channel everybody. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Today we are going to look into our own body and explore different organs of our body. It's gonna be great, so let's begin. First of all, we have the brain. The brain is like the boss of our body. It's inside our head and controls everything we do. It helps us think, feel, move, and even dream when we sleep. So the brain doesn't rest at all. It's always doing its work. The brain gives the orders for each and everything we do. Let's move forward to the next organ, the heart. The heart is like a pump that pushes blood all around your body. It's in your chest and is about the size of your fist. Take a moment, close your fist, and the size of your fist is the size of your heart. So you can actually figure it out. It's, it's quite amazing, isn't it? So the heart's job is to make sure blood carries oxygen and other nutrients to all parts of your body. When the heart stops, you get a heart attack or the heart fails, the person dies immediately. Next we have lungs. Your lungs are big sponges in your chest that help you breathe. When you breathe in, they take in fresh air and when you breathe out, they get rid of old air. The fresh air is oxygen and the old air is carbon dioxide. So if your lungs stop working, you could die in minutes. Here's an activity. Try to hold your breath for a few seconds. You'll see that you become very restless. That is because your body needs to get rid of the carbon dioxide again and again after every few seconds. And it needs oxygen. That is what the job of lungs is. Next we have stomach, our food buddy. Your stomach is like a container in your belly where your food goes after you eat. It helps you break down your food and turn it into energy for your body. So all the food we eat travels through our mouth to the stomach. And in the stomach, it breaks down into energy that helps us do all the things that we do every day. When you eat food and you feel like your tummy is full, that's actually the stomach that gets full. Let's move on to the next organ. Next we have liver. It's another interesting buddy in our body. Your liver is like a busy factory in your body. It helps with digestion, stores energy, and cleans your blood. It's a very hard-working guy, you know? If you're confused with digestion, digestion is the process with which the food we eat turns into energy. So the liver helps with that. It stores energy and it also cleans our blood. Let's move to this next organ. We have kidneys. You have two kidneys and they're like filters in your body. If you look at them, they look like beans. The function that they perform is to clean your blood by removing waste and extra water and then send the clean blood back to your body. Well, kidneys is what generates our pee that we do because that's the waste that has to go out of the body. And it removes the pee from the blood, sends the clean blood back to the body and then we pee to remove all the extra waste material from our body. The kidneys are also very important. Let's move on and we have pancreas. Pancreas is like a kitchen helper in your tummy. It makes a special juice that helps control the sugar in your blood, which is important for giving you energy. So there are more than one organ that help with the process of digestion. That we're going to study later in the video of digestion. For now, you just have to know that pancreas is also a kitchen helper in your tummy. It means it also helps with converting food into energy. So let's move on. Next we have intestines. The intestines are long, continuous tubes running from your stomach. Their main function is to digest food. They help break down food so that the body can use it for energy. The intestines also help remove waste from your body. Another important organ when it comes to breaking down the food in, into energy or converting the food into energy. We have two intestines, the large intestine and small intestine. We're gonna study about them later in later videos. For now, let's go check out another amazing organ in our body. The bladder. The bladder is like a storage tank for the pee. When it's full, you feel the need to go to the bathroom. It helps your body get rid of waste. Now what happens is, from the kidneys, the pee travels to the bladder and it stores in the bladder. 
until we need we feel the need to go to the bathroom and from the bladder the pee goes out to the waste from our body and our body is cleansed from all the waste next up are muscles oh cool muscles are like rubber bands in your body they help you move run and play sports you can thank your muscles for your strong and flexible body the muscles are essential with helping us move actually when we eat for example beef so that beef that meat are actually muscles of a cow or a buffalo so you can test the structure by looking at a raw piece of meat let's move on to the next organ and that is the skeleton looks creepy doesn't it so our bones our skeleton are like the framework for our body they help us stand up move and stay strong actually the bones and the muscles work together to help us move around stand up do all the stuff that we do so without the bones our body will be like a jellyfish you know we won't have a shape if we didn't have bones so bones kind of give the shape of, to our body so all these organs are very important in performing their definite functions and they all work together as one body to help us live and live life to fullest should be thankful to god for giving us such amazing bodies thanks for watching everybody happy learning i hope you enjoyed and if you want to watch more videos like this and learn more about our human body don't forget to like share and subscribe